inspiration for my art comes from literature, music, trees and flowers, the monuments and the worldwide travel that I undertake. I think I have a very strong combination of the left side of the brain and the right side of the brain. The left side provides me the organizational capability coming from my engineering and managerial background and the right side comes from my passion for art. That helps me creating fantastical, surrealistic, mysterious artworks which are full of imagination and strong on composition rather than on reality. I have held several shows including solo shows in Singapore Jahangir Art Gallery, Bombay, and India Art, India Heavy Art Center, New Delhi. I have also held shows in Chicago, London, and other cities. Collectors of my watercolors come from the corporate world, who are art connoisseurs, and my artworks are adorning homes in USA, Germany, Japan, Switzerland, etc. I must dispel a myth regarding the life of watercolors. People think that watercolors don't have long life. That is not true. The watercolors, if they are made on acid-free paper, if they are stored properly, avoiding the direct ultraviolet sunlight and dampness, they can last long. Watercolors of J.M.W. Turner, Winslow Homer, John Singer Sargent, they have lasted generations and nothing has gone wrong with them. So, I would like to suggest add some watercolors to the variety of art that you have at home or in the office. It will bring you a lot of vibrancy, mood uplifting atmosphere and very happy feeling, colorful feeling in your environment. I would like to thank IAC for hosting my watercolors on their website. Now I would like to show you some of my watercolors representing the different types that I make. Thank you. Meditation. Just me. Meditation. Meditation My Dream Garden based on Spanish theme My Dream Garden My Dream Garden Utsusamha based on Kalidas's poem written 1500 years ago depicting spring season and my dream garden based on Uzbekistan monuments.